are you doing? So I am pumped <laughs> for this video because we are covering a topic that some of the YouTube tech greats have done. So this is a topic that Mayuko has covered, Jarvis has covered, and I kind of just wanted to put my little, my little on it so I'm so excited to be covering this topic and we are going to be talking about my computer science degree in nine minutes so I think I can do it <laughs> but yeah I'm so excited to kind of just give this overview and kind of talk through some of the courses I took and at the same time for all you self-taught developers out there I got you I'm going to be showing an equivalent course that covers the same topic that you can also take. So one of the first classes that I took was Introduction to Java. Java was the first programming language that I learned. You learn about different coding concepts. How do you store data? You know, you learn about conditionals, program flow, you know, while loops, for loops, and kind of those core coding concepts. One of the first programming assignments I did for this class was spelling my name using a turtle. So you had to learn Learn how to tell the turtle to go straight but then also like turn left you know then go straight and you kind of see how through code you can actually have you know things happen so that was kind of like an introduction to computer science was what that class was about other classes I took was a data structures class now I talk all the time about data structures I usually talk about it in the concept of like technical interviews but like data structures is just an important concept overall you know we have all this data in the world where should we store it you know what's the most efficient for what we need for our program and you know I learned about data structures I was so confused, yo, through this journey. So my data structures class, we had to code up like a data structure. So for example, a stack. And we had to code that in Java, C, and C++. I, I can't make this up. And you know, me, I was new to coding. I had just learned Java. And now I had to learn data structures. And I had to code it in three different languages. Like, I was a mess in this class. I remember being in the computer science labs, also called the dungeon, and just like, just sitting there. Like, I'm trying to understand a stack, and I'm just like remembering the professor was like stacking books on a table, and I'm like, child, like, <laughs> I'm just like, what is going on? I also took another class where we learned assembly. So you're gonna see throughout my journey that I get to, you know, use different languages. Like I took an introduction to Java course. I also experimented with C. And you can see in this class, I learned assembly, which is a different programming language. You also have to take a lot of mathematics. Like there is a whole section on my curriculum about math. So I had to take three quarters of calculus, statistics, I had to take linear algebra, like a lot of these different math classes, and I know the purpose of it is to get you to critically think and problem solve, but it's like college makes it so hard that you can't even really focus on that. Like you have tests that are worth 70% of your grade and that's just so much pressure. And then also it's like a lot of politics of like choosing the right professor because you know for that professor the majority of people pass but for that professor the majority of people fail so it's like a whole bunch of things you had to think about but I did have to take a lot of mathematics as a web developer I do not use any of that in my current job the most math I'm doing is adding dividing all of that and I have a calculator so it's not that serious but those were some classes I did have to take on my computer science journey. Also took some two unit classes here and there, learning how to use your computer, so like different commands that you would use with your terminal and you know different things like that here and there that was pretty chill. So I also had to take discrete mathematics and I just remember there was this time in the library I was studying with BSU, that's the Black Student Union, we had this study group and I remember just like they were all studying different things like they were like writing essays doing that at the time I was like the only black woman in the program so I was alone you know when it came to like some of this stuff and I just remember sitting at my laptop looking at it and was like wow like I'm really about to fail this and yeah I got a D in class but um, I just remember that moment so clearly like that because I'm such an optimistic person but in that moment in that moment I was like dang 
I'm about to fail this. <laughs> But yeah, I understand that class. Like, I see how that's more related to like computer science than like taking like linear algebra, you know, just because it had to do more with like logic and stuff like that. And like some of those concepts, like, you know, you actually see it in programming. But um, I'll probably have on the screen what that class is about. Honestly, I don't remember anything I took in college. Like, that was years ago. Like, I don't remember what I ate for breakfast last week. But you know, you just kind of have to struggle through this for that piece of paper so um <laughs> yeah um, i have to take two classes of science but like for the resources on the screen i'm definitely going to have like khan academy one of the best resources for you know like science classes out there you have to take a whole bunch of electives that i'm not even going to talk about in this video like your girl took you know like cognitive science i took um history i took theater three quarters of theater like you have to take all these classes just because that's how that's how the system works. So now we're going to talk about the upper division classes. And by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, like we got through the lower division together, like subscribe, like you know you're enjoying it and also leave a like and in the comments below, let me know what class I talked about that you would find most interesting or what was the most interesting class that you have taken or are taking in like college, boot camp, self-teaching, like whatever journey that you're on. But yeah, let's talk about upper division. So I had to take another data structures class. So, you know, before we learned about kind of like the linked list, stacks, you know, cues, those data structures. And this one, we're learning more about like advanced trees. So like B trees, red, black trees, graphs, like, you know, you just learn more about different data structures. So that was that class. That class was very helpful for like technical interviews. So, you know, like at this point, you know, you're trying to get different internships and a lot of like the big tech companies would test you on this. And then I want to give a huge shout out because this next class was my favorite class, my favorite computer science class that I took. And that was an algorithms class. So I think why I really liked that class was one, it was a safe space where I could learn and before I was just not feeling that like the professor shout out to Miles like shout out to Miles like he was just a fantastic professor and you know I could just really like relate to him he was so approachable so nice and like it was really in that class too where I was like girl like you're starting to fail like you need to get your ish together and I gave that class my all he was so patient like he might teach a concept like a certain algorithm like I don't know, binary search like four times in four different ways. But then I was learning how like, you know, you might not learn something the first try. And that's in that class where I was like, okay, I might watch like a YouTube video, read a book, read a blog post all on one topic. And that's okay because, you know, you can take different things from this. And it really is that practice and repetition and like, you know, getting it from different sources. Like I think that was so key. That really helps me. But I loved algorithms and that was one of my favorite classes I also took a software engineering class where you know you would team up with other people in the class I think it was like 10 people and you would build an app so we built an Android app and it was called jam with me it could find other people in your area to like with and yeah that was kind of the point of the app and you know in that class I kind of struggled with some of like you know like the coding aspects of it but what I really liked was like the big picture of it like you know people coming together and building an app and that was one of the classes I actually did enjoy okay so then we also had to take seven electives so that's like you kind of like figuring out you know and just exploring different niches within computer science. So for example, you could take a security class and learning about the different types of attacks. Or you could take a computer vision class. Hated that class. The, the teacher wrote in like chalk and the class, like the majority of people dropped it just because it was so freaking hard and I should have dropped it as well, but I played myself. And yeah, it was a lot of like, it was a lot of like tricky math as well and it was just like it was not for me digging into computer architecture so that was like a mandatory class you know digging lower so like i actually liked operating system i had like so many flashcards like i had like this thick of flashcards for that class where we learned about different processes and semaphores and yeah i liked that but then getting a little lower like we learned about like and or gates and computer architecture and all that and i was just kind of like mm. 
I don't really find this interesting, but you know, you just have to take some of these classes. So yeah, those were some of the classes I took. An elective that I took that actually related to what I do now as a software engineer is web development, where we dove into HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That was a class I actually liked, and that was like a good one. And then I took a programming class on programming languages, and um, I liked that class. I liked it because, you know, a lot of people had strong opinions about programming languages like Java's the best, C is the best, C++ is the best. And I was kind of like, mm. <laughs> But in that class, I kind of learned like for different things that you're programming, like if I'm programming a website compared to like a rocket ship, I'm going to use a different language. Like one is more precise and like, you know, different things like that. And I kind of saw like, okay, there are pros and cons to different programming languages and like diving into the different nuances of them, I really liked. So that was a class I took. But yeah, hopefully this video is nine minutes. It's probably gonna be over, so I tried. <laughs> but I hope you liked seeing kind of like an overview of my computer science curriculum. So you see there was a whole big portion of math that I had to take. Um, I had to take different classes where I use different programming languages. So one class I'm using Java, the next one I'm using C, C++, and Java. You know, I use Python for like some of the machine learning computer vision class that I took. Oh, I also took a class on recommender systems that I liked. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, like um, different things like that. And then it's kind of like, you know, taking lower level classes where you kind of learn like what is going on in your computer and learning about operating systems and computer architecture to also you know taking those electives and seeing what you like whether it's security or it's um compilers so yeah that was kind of my journey thank you so much for sticking with me and watching this more videos coming soon and i will see you in the next one bye